Hello Fanatics and welcome to Fin Day Fridays presented by Fanatic. Big shouts out to Shushu Aroni and YouTube screen name Numero Uno Muchacho. You both asked for the WCT fins by Futures. We've got a set right here and we've got a set of throwing darts. WCT fins, throwing darts. What the fuck? Look up close at a throwing dart and you will see a tip, barrel, shaft, and flight. If you made your living designing these, you would find that if you lengthen the shaft of a dart, that brings the trailing edge of the flight back further and that stabilizes the way that the dart flies to make it move in a straighter line through the air. Now weapon permits aside, the reason that you don't walk into your local bar and find throwing darts the size of hunting arrows is because most throwers like a little bit of curve in the trajectory of their dart to accommodate the lobbing motion that you throw with. In the case of fins, the tip of a fin is the same thing as the dart's flight and the further back that a tip trails from the trailing edge of the base, for example if it was all the way back here, the better a job that fin would do at stably moving in a straight line. Of all the future the fins I know of, the WCT has a tip trailing closest to the trailing edge of its base, and that means we don't get as much stability moving in a straight line as we would with a more traditional template. In fact, this template probably wants to deviate all over the place. The leading two fins in the WCT set are very short and narrow at the base when compared to other fins in Futures Medium category. To give you some context, the leading two WCT fins are tied with the JC1 fins for the most narrow base measurement in the entire medium range. They also have a thruster fin that's smaller than the leading two fins. What all this adds up to is a thruster set specifically geared towards pivot and response, at least as far as the template is concerned, and it makes sense why they call this the WCT. If you reach into your pocket and pull out your copy of the WCT rule book, which you carry with you at all times, you can read the five judging criteria that all contestants are judged on at every event. Degree of difficulty, progressive maneuvers, combination of progressive maneuvers, variety of maneuvers, and speed, power, and flow. So number five is actually three things. Now forgetting the fact that all of those words are entirely subjective and open to a ton of interpretation, it seems to me like only number five, speed, power, and flow, represents the type of surfing qualities that would favor a more swept back tip. The other four judging criteria seem to favor a more upright template with a tip trailing closer to the base, especially if we're not talking about a spot like J-Bay. Since these guys are judged so heavily on fitting multiple tricks onto a single wave, it seems like you'd want a set of fins that let you pivot really easy when you needed to to take advantage of a section to do a critical maneuver on. It seems like that's more desirable than having a set of fins that could be too drivey or promote going straight down the line too much because you would miss a lot of opportunities to take advantage of sections that could let you get a score. I think these fins are probably fun for anyone to test using Fnatic, but I think they're best for intermediate to advanced surfers who want as much freedom as possible to pivot however they want to on a wave and who aren't super concerned with having a lot of drive or dialing in the construction of their fin to fit a very specific wave type. A Shred Nation, that brings us to a little bit of an announcement. I'm gonna take the next three to five weeks off from making videos to focus on a few opportunities. Today represents one year to the day that I decided to do Shred Show, and many of you have been watching for almost as long, so thank you. If I said that a thousand times, it could not convey my gratitude. So Shred Nation, Happy New Year, and may the waves be up wherever you find yourself. We'll see you in 2014 on Shred Show.